In this video, we'll be looking at the Maclaurin series of x times e to the x. First, we want to find the kth derivative. So if we let f of x equal x times e to the x, the derivative will be e to the x plus x times e to the x from the product rule. And both terms have an e to the x factor, so we can pull it out and be left with x plus 1. Now if we find the second derivative, that simplifies to e to the x times x plus 2. The third derivative simplifies to e to the x times x plus 3. So if we find the kth derivative, we expect that to be e to the x times x plus k. Now let's look at the coefficients of the Maclaurin series. We said that f of x is x times e to the x, so f of 0 will just be 0. f prime of x was e to the x times x plus 1, so f prime of 0 is just 1. f double prime of x is e to the x times x plus 2, so f double prime of 0 is 2. And then same thing with f, prime, f, double, f triple prime of 0 is 3. And as that continues, we can find the formula for the kth derivative evaluated at x equals 0. Well, that's just k. So this summarizes into the first derivative will give you 1 when you evaluate it at x equals 0. The tenth derivative at x equals 0 is just 10. 20th derivative is 20 when you evaluate it at x equals 0. And now we have all we need for the Maclaurin series. So in general, this is the formula for the Maclaurin series. And we're just going to plug in the coefficients to get to this series. And notice that the numerator and the denominator have the same factor. So the 2s, the 3s, all the way up to k's, those are going to cancel out. And so the numerator is going to be 1 less factorial. So if it's 3 factorial, it's going to cancel out with 3. Now it's going to be 2 factorial. If it's 5 factorial, it's going to cancel with the numerator 5, and it's going to be 4 factorial. So we can find a nice uh, formula for this. This is the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of x to the n over n minus 1 factorial. So now let's take a different approach. So we found the Maclaurin series to be this. But notice that's the same as multiplying x with a series of e to the x. Because e to the x is 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial, etc. Now when I distribute out the x, I get x plus x squared plus x cubed over 2 factorial, which happens to be the same thing that I found in the previous slide. This is not surprising as the Maclaurin series of a product is a product of the Maclaurin series.